Hello everyone and welcome to SmackDown! The second episode tonight folks here on October 21st and we are here in Sacramento, California. Tonight we have a big card tonight. Yep, I just fucking repeated myself. Tonight, television turn... Fuck, great way to start off the show. Television Championship Tournament begins once again, or continues, never mind, this whole intro is shit, but Tyson Kidd takes on Zack Ryder. And then we will also hear from Charlotte, see what she has to say after advancing in the Women's Championship Tournament. Tag Team Tournament of the first round for SmackDown ends tonight as Breezango, Tyler Breeze, and... Fondango takes on Blake and Murphy. Women's Championship Tournament continues as Natalia takes on Stephanie McMahon. The hell are you doing, Kat? Sorry. Anyways, R Truth and Sami Zayn take on each other for a television championship tournament. Followed by another television championship tournament as the big boss man takes on Mr. Perfect. We will also hear from Goldberg to see what he has to say. About losing to Randy Orton last week. Also, the main event. Lita taking on Trish Stratus for the Women's Championship Tournament. Let's get on to the matches. Former ECW Tag Team Champion Tyson Kidd takes on former NXT Champion... Zack Ryder. And folks, next week we will see Tyson Kidd's tag team partner Cesaro take on Tatsumi Fujinami in the last round of the television championship. And that will be on main event. Main event is a new show, by the way, folks. We, uh, we're testing the waters with it. So some changes may come here and there. Or it might just disappear altogether. But for now, it's going to stay. And here comes Zack Ryder. Without the NXT Championship this week. We, uh, Commissioner Gordon... Went ahead and finally got in touch with Zack. Told him to uh, give back the belt. Zack Ryder went ahead and did. Although he did not want to. Zack Ryder proud to be a two-time NXT champion. Looking to become television champion here on SmackDown. And hopefully he will do better than his partner did this past Tuesday on main event. Zack Ryder, of course, tagged up with Darren Young last week. And Darren Young lost to Goldberg, or excuse me, not Goldberg, Gold Dust. This past Tuesday on main event. That's a kid with a snapmare into a reverse chin lock. And a knee right to the back. The ropes go Zack. Tyson. No. Reversed by Zack Ryder. DDT. Off the ropes goes Tyson. 
And Zach picks him up, drops him, face first. And Zach hits a leg drop. Tyson K with a European uppercut. And a Northern Light suplex. Does not go for the bridge. Elbow drop. Tyson going to the middle rope now. And oh, misses a senton. Zach just got out of the way, but Tyson tosses Zach off the ropes and overhead belly to belly. Goes for the pin. One, no. Zach Ryder able to kick out before one. Big punch to the face and looks for a DDT, but Zach hits him with a knee. Dragon screw countered there by Tyson Kidd. Zach with a beautiful counter there. Drags him towards the center more. Picks him up, drops him on the knee. Chest first, it looked like. Ooh, Tyson's kid's uh, ribs might be a little sore and oh. Zack Ryder with no regard. Tyson, beautiful neck, bre neck breaker there. Off the ropes, leg drop. Zack hitting a jawbreaker on Tyson Kidd. And now knee right to the face. Goes right for the pin. One, and Tyson Kidd kicks out. Both of these men want to become television champion. And Zap gets hit with a drop kick. One, two, kick out by Zap Ryder. Zack Ryder able to get out of that head scissors. And drop kick sends Tyson Kidd over the rope and onto the floor. Zack. I thought he was going to suicide dive. Ooh. Zack now. Looking for that broski boot. And he connects with it. Zach dragging Tyson Kidd. Goes for the pin. One, two, kick out by Tyson Kidd. Zach hits a drop kick to the back of the neck. This crowd is on fire for Zach Ryder. Uh oh, Tyson Kidd might not want to get up. And Rough Rider. Going for the pin now. One, two, oh, wow. Tyson Kidd kicking out at one of the Rough Rider. Proving that both of these men want to become champion, folks. Ryder going up top. And big leg drop from the top rope. Zach now picking up Tyson. Snapmare takeover. Kick to the back. Oh, and another one. Zach with a dragon sleeper. We are only halfway done through the tournament, folks. People who have advanced already, Kalisto, Hideo Atami, Apollo Cruz, and Goldust. One of these men will go on to meet them. Northern Lights suplex by Tyson Kidd. Tyson Kidd, of course. Uh, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Off the ropes and misses the elbow. Oh, that must have really hurt Tyson. Anyways, folks, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro already going on in the tag team division tournament. 
as uh, as well as Golden Truth, the team of R Truth and Goldust, and the Outsiders. Tyson Kidd going for the pin one, kicked out by Zach. Head scissors one, two, and three of them. Three elbows right into the forehead of Zack Ryder. Tyson over the ropes. Off the top. Elbow drop. Tyson should go for the pin. Doesn't though. Very odd. There we go. Goes for it now. One. Two. I don't even think that was a two count. Both of these men kicking out at one. Oh, wait a minute. Tyson sizing Zack Ryder up. Oh, the swinging fisherman neck buster. One, two, and three. That's it. Tyson Kidd goes on. Look at all these pins. Unbelievable pins. And there's your winner, Tyson Kidd. Let's get on to the next segment. All right, folks, we will hear from Charlotte right now. She debuted last week, and she defeated Paige. Let's see what she has to say about it. That's okay. I've got some haters out there, and I respect that. And you know what? I hate you too. Wow. For the ones who support me, guess what? I love you too. It's a give and take relationship, and I'm happy to adapt to how I'm treated. Charlotte coming out strong. <clears throat> I'm sick and tired of sitting in that locker room being ignored. It's my time to take some action and make the other women realize that I mean business. I can't stand the fact that the authority acts like they are untouchable and I uh, can decide my future. My future is in my hands and right now I'm saying that it's time everyone takes notice. The authority can keep trying to keep me down but I'm not gonna let them anymore. Shut the hell up. You think I care about you people? I don't. You don't sign my paychecks. You haven't done a damn thing for me. So shut up, sit back, and pay tribute. Ah, that's better. <clears throat> Crowd, very, uh, very happy with Charlotte. <laughs> I'm done playing nice around here. I know what I want, and I'm going to get it. So, I hope the women around here are ready for me. Because if they're not, they're going to get destroyed. This crowd is loving Charlotte.
And Charlotte. Wow. <coughs> Charlotte putting everyone on notice. Well, let's get on to our next match, shall we? Tag team action. Blake and Murphy take on the debut of the tag team Breezango. Tyler Breeze and Fondango. As you can see. It's going to be an interesting tag team. Tyler Breeze, of course, tried teaming up with Stardust back on Raw when they were both on Raw. Uh, form the team of Star Breeze. And unfortunately for both Tyler Breeze and Stardust, it did not work out well. And here come former NXT champions, Blake and Murphy. Held the NXT Tag Championships for a couple of months. Lost them to Los Matadors. And they have held, they had those titles until the very end. Which was very impressive. There's Tyler Breeze. We saw him last week. Went up against Kalisto. Unfortunately, he lost in the television championship tournament along with Fondango losing to Hideo Itami. Excuse me for one moment, folks. All right, I am back. Sorry about that. Let's bring out his tag partner, Fondango. <laughs> Former member of the NXT roster alongside Blake and Murphy in the last season was very close to winning the NXT Championship from Kane, was unable to do so though.
All right, let's get in some tag team action right now. And ooh, back body drop by Blake. And Mur uh, Blake gets hit with the European uppercut. Murphy tried grabbing Tyler Breeze. Unable to do so, and Tyler hits a DDT. Oh, ooh, trying to pull the leg right out of its socket. Blake rolls him up, does not go for a pin though. Tyler, off the ropes goes Blake, and Tyler Breeze misses. Russian leg sweep. Murphy gets tagged in. Ooh, Blake, one more shot to the head with an elbow. Tyler hits a Russian leg sweep. Goes over and tags in Fondongo. And German suplex by Murphy. Drops an elbow on Murphy. Murphy now working the arm. And Murphy sent to the outside. Fondango tags in Tyler Breeze. Ref holding back Tyler Breeze just so that way Murphy could get in. Tyler Breeze takes down Murphy. A little communication there from Tyler Breeze to Fondango. Tyler Breeze asking if his face was all right. Neckbreaker hit by Murphy. Goes right for the pin. One. Kick out by Tyler Breeze. And Tyler with the fireman's carry. Murphy. Thought he was going to go for a German suplex once again, but no. Just takes him down amateur style. Ref in the way. Uh oh, Blake gets tagged in. Got some double team work. What are they doing? Oh God! A back suplex from the top rope from both team members. Murphy finally gets out. Tyler sent into the corner. Blake with an elbow drop from the top rope. One. Kick out by Tyler. Fondango trying to get the crowd on their side. Blake drops the elbow. Blake stomps right on the arm. Going up top now. What's he going to do here? Moonsault connects. Hooks the leg. One, two, and Murphy. Murphy stops Fondango. There you have it, folks. That big double back suplex from the top. Blake and Murphy go on in the second round. And the second round for SmackDown has been set.
We have the Golden Truth, the Outsiders, Kid, uh, Tyson Kid, and Cesaro, excuse me, and Blake and Murphy. No idea what the matches will be, but we will find out soon enough. Let's get on to our next match. Next match is a women's championship title tournament match. That's the word I was looking for, not title. As Natalia takes on Stephanie McMahon. Once again, folks, we are here in Sacramento, California. And here comes Natalia. We honestly didn't see much of her in the last season. But she is here now. And I'm hoping that this brand split for the women will be good for every single woman in the division. Let's bring out her opponent. Former women's champion, Stephanie McMahon. Poor Stephanie McMahon, wife of Triple H, daughter of Vince McMahon and sister of Shane McMahon. <clears throat> For those of you who may not have known that. I mean, there are some people that live under a rock, so. Here we go, ref rings a bell, and oh, Stephanie with a slap and a forearm shot to kick things off. This is at chop. Natalia firing back now. Stephanie goes behind. And DDT, very vicious looking DDT. And again, Stephanie McMahon is very vicious. Natalia now sends her off the ropes. And Stephanie, whoa, no, shit. Stephanie's head hitting the top rope there. <clears throat> Natalia going to the middle rope. And oh, misses. And. Beautiful move there. Natalia trying to get the crowd going. Ooh, stomps right on the arm. Natalia picks her up. Stephanie, though, trying to break the arm. Jawbreaker by Natalia. And Natalia. Alabama slam. Rolling her back and forth. Kick to the back of the knee. Natalia going for the pin. One, two. Kick out by Stephanie. Natalia earlier on in the day said that she does not care 
as she is the boss's daughter. She wants to become women's champion. And she is definitely showing it. Oh, Stephanie with a knee right to the back. Stephanie now going to the middle rope. Dives and hits with a forearm. Stephanie, oh, kick right to the face. Oh, and again. And Stephanie with a spine buster. Goes for the pin. One, two, and no. Natalia kicks out. Stephanie waiting for Natalia to get up. Measuring her. Kick to the stomach and... Yes, the pedigree hits it. Stephanie rolls her over, hooks the leg, ref. One, two, and three, that's it. And Stephanie McMahon is your winner, folks. Just decimating Natalia with that pedigree. So Stephanie McMahon will join Emma and Charlotte in the next round. And we will find out who else will go into the second round later on tonight for the main event. All right, folks, our next match, Television Championship Tournament, continues as R-Truth takes on Sami Zayn. Y'all know what time it is! This the part where we crank it up! Let's crank it up! Now here we go! People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this. Cause this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make them disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till they next get softer. Most of the time you see me, uh, I'm being simple. Too many times I be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers. Step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show shot bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Our truth fired up tonight. And he's going to have to be. Because this man right here, longest reigning ECW television champion. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sami Zayn was ECW television champion from beginning to end. Was so impressive that the commissioner was thinking about just handing Sami Zayn the television championship. But the television championship has not been made yet. So he figured why not have a tournament to see who becomes television champion when that belt is ready. <clears throat> Sami Zayn looking ready. Ditch the shirt for a jacket and hat. Our truth. Sami Zayn. Let's get this match going. And Sami starting things off with a Northern Light suplex. 
Elbow drop to the chest. Sammy now. Dragging our truth. Snaps the neck. And the back. And oh, boot right to the face. Our truth. Stomping away on Sammy. Picks him up. Ooh, elbow right to the back of the head. And oh, Truth gets caught. Of course, the partner of our Truth, Gold Dust, was uh, able to go into the second round this past Tuesday on main event. Elbow drop by Sami Zayn. Our Truth. Ooh, trying to break the arm. Ooh, clubs him right in the face. Sammy with the club to the back of the neck. German suplex. Sammy now. Ooh. Forearm shot sends our truth into the corner. And Sammy, exploder suplex right into the corner. Drives our truth into the center of the ring. Goes for the pin. Ref certainly out of position. One, two, and no. Our truth kicks out. Perhaps if the ref was in position, Sammy Zayn could have won that. Ooh. Big shot there by our truth. Truth going up top. Telling Sami Zayn to get up. And Truth off the rope. Elbow drop. Or, ex excuse me, that was a flying uppercut. Shades of Cesaro. Truth goes for the pin. One, two. And no, almost. Our truth so close. Oh, wait a minute. And complete shot. Sami Zayn has been laid out. One, two, and Sami able to get the shoulder up. Truth picks him up. Oh, Sammy sweeps the legs. Waiting for our truth to get up. And Koji clutch. And he gets it locked. Our truth trying to make it to the rope. Will our truth tap out? Can our truth tap out? And oh, truth gets out of it. What a hell of a match this is already, folks. Suplex, no. Sammy stops him. Sammy. Oh, looking for an ace cutter, it looked like. Suplex by Truth. Our Truth off the ropes. Off the ropes again. And, uh, okay. We know how wacky our truth can be, folks. Now just stomping away on the leg. Sammy sends him into the corner. Elbow to the face. Truth back in control. Looking for a suplex. No, power slam. Hits it. I know I have started to say suplex. I meant body slam. Body slam was in my mind, but it just did not come out. Anyways, truth. Picks him up. And oh, Osaka Cutter. One, two, kick out by Sammy. I believe I was wrong once again. I That may not have been the Osaka Cutter. I think I confused it with another move. Anyways, 
Sammy sends Truth into the corner. And uh oh, looking for that exploder suplex. Sends Truth right into the turnbuckles. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. That will do it. Sami Zayn goes on. And yes, that was me snapping my fingers. Sami Zayn goes on. All right, folks, let's get on to our next match. Welcome back, everyone, to SmackDown. We are about to see the big boss man taking on Mr. Perfect in a television championship tournament match. It was originally Big Boss Man versus The Miz, but The Miz wants nothing to do with the television championship and told Commissioner Gordon that he wants the World Heavyweight Championship. Commissioner Gordon tried explaining to The Miz that he needs to earn a shot for the World Heavyweight Championship. The Miz says he will certainly do so. So, Commissioner Gordon gave Mr. Perfect the opportunity. And here he is. Mr. Perfect, Kerr Henning. Mr. Perfect looking to become television champion. Even though Commissioner Gordon went ahead and gave him the opportunity, Perfect said he should have been in the tournament in the first place. I can't help but agree. Yes, here we go, folks. Two veterans, two legends of this business. One-on-one -on -one for the new television championship. That sounded like it came out so weird. Big Boss Man, Mr. Perfect. Here we go. Bell has been rung and whoa, Boss Man. Just picking Perfect right up and slamming him down. Whoa, what the fuck just happened there? Boss man with a rake to the eyes. Perfect kick to the back of the knee. And atomic drop. Perfect picking him back up. Off the ropes. Back body drop.
Perfect with an elbow drop to the back. Perfect now. Picks him up, drops him. Boss man, no. Perfect now, looking for a suplex, hits it. Boss man, big back body drop. Boss man with a punch to the jaw there. Oh, boss man just punishing Mr. Perfect. Oh, rake to the eyes. Spins him around. And short arm clothesline. Boss man on the second rope. Telling Perfect to get up. Wow, Turk. Wow, wow, what the hell? Telling Perfect to get up. And crowns him. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell happened there. That was one hell of a flub. One, and Bossman kicks out. Perfect now. Going to the middle rope. Telling Bossman to get up now. And drop kick. That's the perfect snapmare. Here we go. Signature move. A snap in the neck and the back. One, two, and no. Bossman kicks out. We will hear from Goldberg up next. Perfect. Looking for the perfect flex. Hits it. One, two, and no. Bossman able to kick out. Yes, we will hear from Goldberg next. And then our main event, Trish Stratus takes on Lita. Ooh, knee right to the face. Perfect, just stomping away on Boss Man. Sets him up, trying to break the neck now. Just wrenching away. Drop kick to the back of the head. Perfect. Knee right to the face. Goes for the pin. One, two, and no! Boss man kicks out. What's this? Oh, all right, thank you. Folks, I've just been handed the tournament matches for the tag team division next week. Perfect with a perfect flex. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. Perfect goes on. Congratulations, Mr. Perfect. <clears throat> and we see it one. Two and three. There's your winner, Mr. Perfect. Folks. Let's see what Goldberg has to say. Goldberg will have a lot of interesting words to say. I can go ahead and predict that as he lost to Randy Orton last week after coming back after several years of being away. 
<clears throat> Folks, let me go ahead and say real quick, Golden Truth will take on Blake and Murphy next week, and Tyson Kidd and Cesaro versus The Outsiders in the Tag Team Division Tournament ma matches. See who will become Tag Team Champions. I've also been handed the Women's Division Tournament matches. Hold, hold on. I've been fighting for all of you since day one. But now, I've got to make a choice. Now I've got to fight for me. Because if I don't, if I just let things go the way that they've been going, then it won't just affect me. Uh, it will affect all of the WWE. WWE, as we all know and love it, will die. So I've got to focus everything I have on the task ahead of me. What the? Hi, Eliza. I want to talk to a certain superstar. You know, the one I'm talking about. The guy must have been born on a highway because that's where most accidents happen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Goldberg. Holy shit. That is a hell of a line. I don't think this clown knew who he was dealing with. He used to be he's used to picking on people who either won't or can't fight back, but I've been fighting back since day one. And now it's time for me and Randy Orton to throw down whether he's ready for it or not. And here he is. You all know me and know what I'm about. And you know that I'm a lot of things. But one thing I'm not is a coward. I stand up for what I believe in. And when someone wants to settle a score with me, I come out and settle it. Gotta say, Randy Orton, not lying there. Well, they hand anyone a microphone around here, even a walking, talking caveman like you. Damn. Do you honestly believe what you just said was interesting or impactful? Half of the WWE Universe, like me, were dozing off from boredom. Why don't you try that again? And this time, try using words with more than one syllable. Wow. You aren't serious, are you? You know, this is WWE, right? Where real superstars compete against each other. The daycare center is down the street. I'll give them a call. Make sure they have plenty of soft toys for you when you get there. Damn. Randy Orton not letting up. You can joke all you want, but when it comes to the WWE, I have competed at the top level with the best in the business. So don't bother calling the daycare center. Save the call for the hospital. Oof. Very harsh words between these two. You come out here every week. 
you try to push your weight around, show off your clout, bully people, well, maybe I should know better, and maybe I should mind my own business, but someone needs to put you in your place, and that someone's going to be me. Hi, Liza. I can see you're all fired up. The little vein on your forehead's been twitching since you got out here. But calm down before you get a nosebleed. You and I both know that you're not ready for this opportunity. But Goldberg, he, you two fought last week. I don't want to wait until next pay-per-view. I don't care about fighting on a big stage or having a big memorable match. I just want to fight you. I want to fight you now, here, in front of these people. I want them to see me kick your ass all around this ring. Orton wants a fight, folks. We might want to get security out here. Please, your vain attempts are at angering me are both desperate and obvious. You will not get you will not be getting a match against me tonight. There's nothing you can say to change it. So deal with it. You've shown everyone what a big man you are, sure, but big men come and go in this business. You really want to be a big man? Then you know what you've got to do. And when you're ready to step up, you know where to find me. Orton wanting a fight and then just... I, that's very confusing about Orton there. Goldberg leaving, and yeah, Orton was in the lead there. But anyways, enough about that. Let's get on to our main event, folks. <clears throat> Something that Raw... Hasn't done yet. At least in this universe. Women main eventing a show. Lita taking on Trish Stratus. Two veterans, two legends of this business. Main eventing Raw. Or excuse me. Main eventing SmackDown. And here comes Lita. Excuse me. And here she comes, folks. Trish Stratus.
Trish Stratus looking ready. One of these two women will meet Stephanie McMahon in the second round on SmackDown for the Women's Championship. And Lita going right after Trish. Crucifix. So that only means Emma will take on Charlotte. Trish quickly gets out of it. Lita. Hurricanrana. Elbow drop by Trish. Picks up Lita. And Lita quick to get out of that head scissors. Off the ropes goes Trish and oh spear by Lita. This crowd is fired up for these two women. And Lita throws some elbows into the head of Trish Stratus. And Trish, jawbreaker. Dodges and oh, gets hit with that clothesline. Ooh, kick right to the back. Trish Stratus sends Lita off the ropes and oh, nice clothesline there by Trish Stratus. Lita, swinging around, beautiful Hurricanrana. This crowd is on fire. Lita, dragging Trish to the center of the ring. And oh, kick right to the midsection. And Trish with a jawbreaker. And Hurricanrana by Trish Stratus. Trish trying to make Lita submit, but Lita quick to get out of it. And Hurricanrana once again. Both teams women, former WWE Women's Champion. And Lita using the second rope, hits a neck breaker. Lita dragging Trish into the center of the ring. Going for the pin. One. Two. No. Trish. Oh, gets caught and slammed. Lita now. Drop kick. Wow, drop kick. I meant leg drop. And. Oh, stomps right to the sternum. And Lita, trust the fate. Going for the pin. One, two, no. Trish kicks out. <clears throat> Trish. Another elbow to the back of the head. Trish Stratus, jawbreaker. Into the rope goes corner. That's what I meant. Into the corner goes Trish. Or Lita. Wow. And Trish. Shoving that boot into the face of Lita. Lita shoves her away. Once again, folks, next week, Charlotte takes on Emma and Trish, I had a, or, wow. Wow, I, that sounded really bad. Anyways, Emma will take on Charlotte. Stephanie McMahon will take on one of these two. And Trish, waiting for, oh, chick kick. One, two, and no, Lita. Able to kick out. Trish working the arm. Lita goes outside. Back in. Trish shoves her into the ropes with her boot. Trish now 
Up and down right across the chest with the knee. Elbow drop. Goes for the pin now. One. And Lita kicks out. The DDT. One, two, and no. Trish Stratus able to kick out. Lita cannot believe it. Lita going outside. And oh, Blancha. Lita gets hit with a jawbreaker. Trish. Swinging around, ooh, really driving Lita down hard with that hurricanrana. Trish with the head scissors, but Lita quick to get out of it. And Trish. Trish now sending Lita into the corner. And, uh oh. Trish could be setting it up. Never mind. Not what I thought she was going to do. But Frankensteiner from the top rope. Trish sends her into the corner once again. Lita fighting out of the corner. Look at her twist of fate, I believe, but Trish sends it down face first. One, two, and no, Lita able to kick out. Kick to the stomach by Trish. Uh oh, oh, reverse hurricane. Yeah, wow. Reverse twist of fate. That's what I wanted to say. One, two, and three. That did it. And Lita has just defeated Trish Stratus. So next week, Lita will take on Tr Stephanie McMahon. Almost a Trish Stratus once again. Anyways, this has been SmackDown. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you for WCW Nitro, where the uh, WCW World Heavyweight Championship Tournament continues. I'll see you then, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.